what's up guys it's zed and this is episode 12 of the fifa 22 create a club career mode we're on with zilla fc and last episode wasn't really wasn't really uh the best episode that we've had in a while because we only won one match in the whole of last episode i mean out of the ones that we played obviously but i think we won like three altogether and that is that isn't something that this team is supposed to be doing but then we're in the premier league we expected it to be tough and well i don't think there's any other match that we're going to play in this um month but it's the transfer window so i actually don't know what's going to happen so i'm just going to like try and sim to the word for game and then if i see any um offers for anybody or if i feel like i should get a player then so there was actually a transfer offer for devo but it got withdrawn before that sim ended so i'm going to try and be careful this time because i actually really need money to get players and devo devo is actually a really good player but i don't think he's the kind of player that will stay in the team for a long amount of time but let's see what we're going to do against Watford and we draw as usual Devo scored and Zaid scored. Rivera missed the penalty apparently. The crazy thing is that we are sixth even though we we um lost that match against Manchester City. I guess the draw with um Watford just now just bumped us up to sixth over Everton. Then as for the bottom of the table we still have Brighton, Newcastle and Sheffield United. I don't know if it changed from the last time I checked, but I, I, I doubt it did. It just like shuffled, but it hasn't actually changed. Okay, nothing has happened in the transfer window so far, but we are here in the Leicester City match and I just accidentally did an interactive sim. I really don't like this sim because, I mean, I never win, like ever. So I'm just going to jump to the results. Hopefully, we actually get a good result here. So let's see we draw again rivera scored a brace <sighs> come on guys come on next up is the match against arsenal in the fa cup and i re i would really want to play this we are going to the emirates and well this will be the first match we're going to be playing in this episode i haven't looked at the calendar to see if we are going to be playing any other matches anytime soon but for now let's just focus on this match i'm going to leave the starting 11 as it is it's like Devo, Kamavinga and Gravelbert are actually growing together Davies is now 85, Zaid is an 87 everyone in the team has actually grown Bakari is actually has actually grown the most to be honest because he was the lowest out of the starting 11 I guess I can't, I can't remember but I think he was and now he's 84 so he has actually grown the most Alderweireld is now at an 80 and I, I actually need to get a a another defender for this transfer window who who can i get i have no idea but i'm going to try and think of something otherwise we're going to have to wait till the season is over delighted to be able to report very agreeable weather for the fans here at the emirates stadium i'm derek ray and i'm joined here on the gantry for commentary by stuart robson and live action to come from the oldest cup competition of them all, the FA Cup. It's Arsenal against the Blades. Well, Derek, it's a nice break from league action today for these clubs. Obviously a long way to go in the tournament. The final is months away, but they want to put in a good performance and get through to that next round. Making sure nothing from him, Stuart. Well, it certainly give them some quality in those wide areas. He's a good runner with the ball. He can deliver good crosses, and he has a real change of pace. So I'm looking forward to his performance today. Cross fired over. Well, the keeper performing brilliantly. Well, that's just incredible. Oh. Kamavinga. And he's kept it out, fully stretched, somehow reaching it. Trying to pick out a teammate. And into the clutches of the goalkeeper. Oh. 
Now with Rivera. Can they convert? And a goal! That will do it. They've been pushing for it. And now they've been rewarded. Well, here's... Making excellent progress with the ball at his feet. Can he finish? And they couldn't add to their advantage. Well, that would have put them... Promising possession, this. Has eyes for goal. Well, flinging himself at it. <laughs> Just one minute of stoppage time, say the officials. One minute of added time. It's there for him. In it goes! That will greatly help the cause. Now they only need to keep concentration levels high. Well, here's the replay. And when you've got the ball at the back, you've got to pass it forward. And he doesn't do that there. He has his pocket picked, and he's been rightly punished. And Kessia. The Blades come away with it. Now, can they create something? That's a great stop. Well, his reflexes are so good there. That's it's a fantastic... And taken short. Rivera. Opportunity. In it goes. A three-goal cushion. And you truly sense it's a matter of how many. Well, here's the goal again. And it's a great ball to put him through. Good vision to set up the chance, and his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one... Capitalise there. As the stats show us, the visitors have had most of the play. They've passed it well, their movement's been oh, good. Oh, it's developing nicely for them here. Another goal! The lead grows to four now. A rampant display. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back, and when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really impressive... Don't forget, we have more live action from the Premier League coming up here on EA TV. It's Arsenal facing Wolves. And room to roam for the Blades. Could be threatening. Fruitful-looking attack. Ideal for the goalkeeper, for any keeper. And you saw the situation developing. Oh, good vision. Oh, there it is! It's one goal after another, and it speaks to the quality of their performance. Well, here it is, 1v1 against the keeper, and the outcome was never really in doubt. He never looked like missing that. It might be on for them. The final... Okay, so I'm at a point where Arsenal is like every other team to me because I can't really be beating them 5 0 every single time that I play them. Well, is the FA Cup, those points really don't matter that much in the grand scheme of things. But if we are able to win the FA Cup, which is actually kind of possible if we are just like on the right path to not face any of those big teams until the finals, then maybe we can actually win the FA Cup and get some cash. Okay, so in the month of February, we have Chelsea, Arsenal and Manchester United. That is actually really crazy, but we're not going to play the Arsenal match. We're going to sim that, and 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 I really, I, I really, really hope that Arsenal doesn't beat us in a sim because that would be absolutely annoying. Because we are obviously supposed to win that match because we always beat them. We are like literally always beating them. As for this match, we are going to quick sim it in our home. So we, sh 
I should be expecting to see a good result at the end of this match. And yeah, we do. Devo scores and Zaid scores as well. So there's a transfer offer for, for Zaid from Ajax. Where did Ajax get this much money from? They're offering 180 million for Zaid. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't even think I can sell this guy for 300 million because he is, he is like the person that is holding this team together, him and Rivera. I mean, to me, he's more important than Rivera because I actually prefer him to Rivera because, you know, he's more of that scalar type. It's transfer deadline day and... I don't know if anything is going to happen, but I'm going to like sim past it. And if anything happens, I will let you guys know. Alright, so Shagari has been sold to Villarreal and Al Rahal. There's an offer from Athletic Club. Where are all these clubs getting this kind of money though? Yeah, there were three offers. One from Leeds. This is actually the most shocking. <laughs> there was this from Leeds. There was this from Chelsea. And then there's this one from Athletic Club. And I am not accepting any of them he's 19 now and he, he he's actually prompting to be one of the best defenders in the world to be honest and i mean he's in our team and it should be actually it actually would be dumb to let him go even though we need money to get a deeper squad but i want to actually build this squad around our rahal um what's his name zaid Okay, maybe just Arahal and Zaid. That's what I want to build the squad around right now. And maybe um, Gravenberch in the in that central defensive role that he's playing. Then from Germany, we have Leas Lorenz that actually catches my eye. He has to be the best one out there. This guy is 69. He's, he, he just barely made it to my books. This guy, Liam Coach. I mean, I like your overall, to be honest. So I'm going to set, sign you and then this guy... Um, the the scout Vincent Janssen has absolutely outdone himself in Germany. To be honest, we have already played Chelsea before, so I really don't think I want to play this match. I'm I'm just going to like do an interactive sim, and if anything goes wrong, I'm just going to jump straight in and actually try and fix it. But for now, let's see what this team can actually do with the interactive sim. And the contest begins. Rivera. Very creative. Okay, and that is the first goal by Karim Zaid. He's so good that he's even scoring the match teams. I have never actually, like, I don't remember, like, winning a match in interactive teams before. And let's just hope that we're actually able to pull this through. We're going to be simming the match against Arsenal next, so let's just hope that we can actually grab this win against Chelsea. Wow, it hit the bar. It hit the freaking bar. And the keeper saved me after. We are actually doing really well here. Alright, so it's the second half, and let's just hope that we can hold this, hold this lead. If... If by the 85th minute they haven't scored, I'm, I'm just going to jump in and hold it because, to be honest, this, like this interactive sim really scares me, especially. And, and I actually hit the post for the second time. What the fuck? The keeper holds it this time, but we are actually pressing them, come to think of it. That's actually really good. But let's. Oh shit. Yes, and Rivera has scored the second goal. That is what I'm looking for, so we don't have to jump in into the match anymore. So let's just hope that they can actually keep their cool. And let me just uh, put Greenwood in for Rivera here. Or or let's bring him in for Zaid, really. Zaid has tried in this match, to be honest, from what I've seen in the Sims. And that is a third goal for Zilla FC. And there is no way that Chelsea is coming back in this match. No way at all. The match is almost over 90 plus 2 minutes and the match is over. We have won it. Zaid scores and Rivera scores a brace. I think I'm going to be doing this um, interactive sim now because it's actually 
Like, I'm actually really impressed that we actually got a 3-0 win over Chelsea. So I'm going to sim straight over the Arsenal match and let's just hope that we can get the win. And we do 3-1 against Arsenal. So let's see. In the league right now, we are in fifth position. So that's the Europa League spot. We are just six away from Wolves. Wow. I really wasn't expecting Wolves to be this high up. So next up is against Manchester United. We drew with them 3-3 at the Old Trafford. Are we going to be able to win this time or is what happened with Manchester City going to repeat itself? Let's hope that that's not the case. And I'm using my first team here, as you can see. Zayed is now on an 88 rating. He's absolutely crazy. So so is Torvaldsen as well. And let's see what happens. The man of the moment. In wonderful form, can he add to his goal scoring haul today on EA TV? Hello, everyone. The weather forecasters promised us a very pleasant day for football, and that's exactly what we've got. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, at the microphone, and sitting alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham, and Coventry midfield player, Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's the Blades up against Manchester United. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. Well, it might well be a game to save a Manchester United kick-off. Session as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. What can the Blades do from this position? Really good high press. A glorious chance. A truly magnificent start. An early goal in the game. Just what they were hoping to produce. Well, here it is again. Just look at the quality of the cross. It's inch perfect, and the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. Third, fine pass. And they couldn't quite muster a real threat. Well, you never quite know who's going to emerge from the shadows and become a match winner, but this man might be a decent... Derek, this could be a goal here. Couldn't beat the keeper, unfortunately for him. Well, I think that's a bad miss. There to win it back. Now can they create something? And not cleared away properly. Well, good defending. Clattered out of there. Crossed into the penalty area. Not fantastic defending. Let's see if it helps the opposition. That's a splendid ball from Ronaldo. And nothing comes of the attack when all is said and done. chance to do damage and threading it forward couldn't quite hang on to another Zaid firing it towards goal oh a superb save over it comes thumps clear Now with Rivera, a really sumptuous ball, and it's gone in, just what the doctor ordered. Things looking very bright for them now with this buffer. Well, here's the goal again, and what a wonderfully weighted pass this is. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish. It's Manchester United facing Arsenal. Please remove the gap as soon as possible. Encouraging stuff from United. Oh, a lovely ball. Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. Alfonso Davies. Well, the seconds are ticking away and the home side in control. Stuart, what have you made of this? Yeah, this has been a good performance. They've looked really sharp going forward and they've... Sh oh, surely! Really sound goalkeeping. Well, that had to be a goal, didn't it? What? Favouring the short one. 
Zaid. Can he convert? And it's come off the keeper. Well, what an opportunity, but rip the referee. All right, so we have beaten Manchester United 2-0. That was actually a very, very well-deserved win because we were the better team in every way. Like what the commentator just said. You guys probably can't hear him, but that's what he just said. And I said it as well. So, all right, that has taken us three points closer to Wolves, who are <laughs> who are one game in hand. Who is that game supposed to be against? They're supposed to be playing against West Brom, away from home. And to be honest, I don't see them losing that much. But... Let's just hope that we can actually make our way into the Champions League for next season. I mean, we're definitely not going to be winning the Champions League next season if we do enter. But it'll be fun to actually get out of the group stage and into the knockout phases for the Champions League. And next season, I actually feel that we're going to be fighting for the um, uh, Premier League better than we did this season so thank you guys for watching if you did enjoy this video make sure to smash that like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i will see you guys in the next video peace